declare you graduated as Green Ambassadors. The thing about the Green Ambassadors, which is so powerful to me and I love it, is because we get to do the solution. It's not the teacher doing it. It's actually youth empowering youth because we're in charge of it. In our Green Ambassadors class, we work on projects that can help our school first and then we can go out in the community to teach others about it. And of course, that all goes back to our ecological footprint and climate change. Here in the United States, we, we're trying to change it, and many countries don't see that. They just think that we're bad, we're the big monster that wants to destroy the planet. Most of our energy comes from fossil fuels, like oil, natural gas, and coal. Once you burn them, they emit CO2. And the greenhouse gases are like laying a blanket on our planet, and it's heating it up. Our school is going through a green transformation. Our school, we had a lunch system that would create so much waste. So last semester, we worked on a project called Clean Plate Club. These are our waste stations. We have compost, fruits, vegetables, eggshells. We have recycled, so plastic bottles only, numbers one and two. And we have landfill. And we want to raise awareness, and we also want people to see what can go in the landfill. Right here is our method of compost. We're using an old bathtub to put our organic matter from the waste bins. Worms are breaking it down to compost. We're gonna get good healthy soil for our plants, our fruit trees. We planted 60 different fruit trees with over 30 varieties. Trees get the carbon dioxide out of the air, so planting more trees can reduce your carbon footprint. The coolest thing for me was that we actually got to plant the trees so we can go back 20 years later and say, hey, I planted that avocado tree, I planted that kiwi tree. And we also went into the community door to door asking people, do you want a kiwi tree, do you want an avocado tree? We planted 40 different trees in the community. To me, it was that's the most important thing to educate people because they don't know. I don't like when we judge other people instead of teaching them. One way that our school has taken our learnings and teachings out to the rest of the community, to the rest of the city. We teach little kids about what they can do and take back to their homes, to their schools, to make their school environmentally friendly. They're trying to reduce plastic, getting canteens, and so that they don't have to be buying plastic bottles. We're at the Environmental Youth Conference, and I'm dressed as a plastic bag monster. Everyone is walking up to me taking pictures and laughing, <laughs> but this is a serious problem. Climate change, it's hitting us. I mean, we need solar panels, we need wind energy. We don't need to be going offshore drilling for oil. There are the solutions, and but we need to use